Good day, everyone. We greet you all, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's awesome to be live here today on his music page. I want to thank our pastors, Pastor Francois and Adri Berger, for allowing us to do this devotional on his vision page. And I want you to share this page and to like it. His vision church, Rustenburg, as this is our main campus. Uh, the mother campus in Rustenburg and uh, we are so blessed and privileged to be affiliated with this awesome uh, leaders of us pastor He's going to say hello to you. Good afternoon, family. I hope you all are healthy and you all are safe and you all are well. And I hope you enjoy this devotional. That's awesome. Well, uh, well, are you keeping safe? Are you vigilant? Are you doing your part? Are you washing hands? Are you doing what's required from you? And uh, we're well, here in Cape Town and we're streaming live all the way from the mother city in Cape Town and we are so blessed to have this opportunity to stream in live today on his vision page and uh, yeah we want to monitor of the word of their testimony for they did not love their life and renounce their faith even when faced with death wow. the bible says and he was overcame the enemy was overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony two things that stand out here the blood of jesus and our testimony I believe your testimony is much bigger and greater than your sermon. Mm -hmm. Preach your sermon, but the testimony. What do you say, my wife? Yeah. Once you testify to someone of how you conquered something in your life by the blood of the Lamb, yeah. then somebody else can mm -hmm. relate to that and can have the hope that they can conquer as well. Jesus already paid the price with his blood. Paid the price, and yet you have been um, 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 paying it off. But you know what? Um, I, I've been brought up, I need to take care of this on my own. I'm gonna refinance this thing, and then I'm going to pay for it again. Let me tell you, 
You only need to get in the car and drive and enjoy. And that is what we need. We need to enjoy the benefits of what Jesus has done for us on the cross of Calvary. You know, it is finished. He said it is finished. And the enemy was overcome by the of our testimony. Now, you need to understand, it's very important that we place emphasis on this because people out there, they are anxious. They are in panic. But he's got the whole world in and you've been ministering um, those past two weeks about the finished work of the cross, what Jesus has done for us. Can you um, elaborate a bit on your message with regards to what you've been preaching on this? Yeah, what I've been, what God has been laying on. have done for us you know him on the cross it was love yes. and he had our names on his mind you were on his heart and uh, many years but the cross is significant to you yes. the cross is significant to us and, and and I've ministered last week on the message of uh, that I call triple C um, the cross conquered the cross cross of Calvary. It was nailed to the yeah. cross. The price was paid for by the cross of Jesus. In Galatians 3 verse um, 13 it says there that um, Christ redeemed us from every curse that
that was meant to come to us, that was meant to, to overtake us, he took upon himself. And now by his stripes we can receive healing by his When you are in your kitchen having coffee, put down your coffee, get up and give Jesus a hand of applause. You know, God <laughs> is faithful. He has destroyed the works of the, the devil. devil. And therefore we are excited to know what God has been doing within our lives. Yes. Family and friends out there, you need to walk up. You need to put your head up straight. You need to look people in the eye and tell them, you know, take you to a place where God wants you to be yeah. not where you want to be you know I never heard the Bible said um, a recalculating he never recalculates he always takes me to the place where I need to be yes. and where God wants me to be and therefore it to, to, to the best part of, of this message apart from the finished work of the cross mm -hmm. Um, we all agree that we need Jesus. Yes, yes. And we need Him like today. We need to receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior yeah. and be baptized. And be baptized. Yes. Now, how do you receive Him? <laughs> Romans 10 verse 9 and 10 says that Acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You need to understand that it's important for you yes. to receive Jesus as your as as your Lord and your Savior. Yes. You know, because let me tell you, we all try to figure out stuff on our own. But we need Jesus to 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 conquer. Yes. We need him in our lives. Yeah. And therefore you can be in ministry for many years. If you do not bold on Christ, you are in a dangerous place. Yes. Paul says, be careful what you bold on. And we need to bold on Jesus. Yes. You know, when this pandemic struck the globe, everybody um, was in panic. 
um, how are we going to have church? Where are we uh, going to gather? And let me tell you, this happened in the times of Jesus. This really happened. People gathered in their homes. Mm -hmm. You know, what an opportunity for you to invite the presence of God in your house. Yes. To invite Jesus in your house. Yes. Like Obed Edo yes. invited the presence, uh, the presence of God in his house and the Lord blessed him. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the time for you together as a family, to come back to, to, to reconstruct and to plan. You know, plan everything around God and let Jesus become the center of it all. Allow His finished work to, to manifest within your life, the finished work of the cross, the price that He has paid. There's no higher price yeah. that He has paid. And uh, I mean, we've been through some stuff and we just had to look at the cross and we constantly had to remind of He is the gate that we need to enter through and there's nothing that we can do apart from giving Him first place in our life. Okay, um, first of all what you've mentioned now about um, it's time for the um, for your family and all that I I think it's a the lockdown is a blessing in disguise because yeah. I see that God is gonna restore marriages and restore families relationship between fathers and sons and and the daughters and their mothers and and we actually have time to build relationship with our kids and with our our spouses in this this lockdown time so um god works everything for the good this every epidemic affected me in a way i was very calm I'm very at peace because we've been praying and we've been praying for God to um, to touch people's lives, to change this world. And no one of us can question the way. I don't know if it's if we can say God is doing it, but um, I know that God will work everything for the good. That at the end of the day in our suffering, the glory will break through. That in every situation, or even with this, with this virus and the sickness going around, um, Christ will be revealed in this. God will be revealed in the situation, in the bad, in the darkness. God will be revealed in all of us. You know, God will never give us anything that we cannot handle. Anything that God gives us, He's in control of. He will make sure that we get to the place where we need to be, not where we want to be. Yeah. You know, there's a difference between a need and a want. God, you, you cannot always get what you want, but He will give you what you need. Yeah. If you take care of your need, He will give you what you want. Yeah. And therefore, you need Jesus in your life. You need Him in your household. You need Him in everything that you do yeah. to complete you. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9 says, the Lord isn't really being slow about His promise. As some people think, no, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but listen to this, but wants everyone to repent. That word repent means to turn around. It means to turn from one direction into another direction. Let me tell you, you have a chance to turn around. You have a chance to turn to a new page. It is not over. You still have hope. This time is the time that you can set apart for God 
to do something miraculously in your life. If you have never done anything, now is the time to act. Somebody said to me once, if you want to go ahead, you need to start. When are you starting? When are you pressing the reset button? Maybe your apps represent um, all your issues in your life. And now you need to um, update on anything. The only update you need to, to do is to update your spiritual life by completely surrendering to God. And that is to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. That is to repent. That is to acknowledge that you need Him in your life. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, But all who believed Him and accepted Him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn. Listen, they are reborn. Yeah. Not from a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. You know, oh, yeah. he have crea God has created everybody. Check this. But not everybody is born from him. Yeah. You need to get born again. He, he has created you, but that doesn't mean everybody is born out of Him. You're only born out of Him when you receive Him as your Lord and your Savior. That means all the blessings of God is, gets activated in your life. The full package comes when Jesus comes in your life. When you were lost in Adam, you were found in Christ. What does that mean to you? Well, um, being born again means to have a new beginning, means to have a new life, a second chance in life. In this scenario or this message that we're preaching today, when we are born again and obstacles come or the yeah. enemy comes, then you have the ability, not in your own strength, but you have the ability of God within the inside of you to overcome those obstacles. If you have weaknesses, then you have... places amen amen you know what you want to bless it but you don't want the blesser i've got news for you one advice get the blesser then you will be blessed you are blessed and you are highly favored i want to end with the scripture john chapter 3 god created everything through him and must created except through him you need to understand Nothing happens if there is no Jesus. The finished work of the cross is what you need to confess in this time of your life. There is a new life for you. The resurrection power of Jesus is available for you. He has died on the cross, but He rose again. And therefore, you have received a new life.
power in the sound mind. Release the power of God to come upon you. I release favor to come upon you. Grace upon grace in the almighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Your word declares the prayer of the righteous availeth much. I thank you for Isaiah 10, 27. It is the anointing yes. that destroys every yoke. And Father, receive whatever you have in store for us today. Lord, we pray and we do not doubt. Father, we thank you. Lord, that we will go into a new dimension of understanding, yes. a new dimension of the grace of faith. Yes. Father, we have the faith of God. Yes. Lord, I thank you that we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in Christ. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that there's no other foundation to be laid than the foundation of Jesus. Yes. Father, I thank you that the word of the cross will manifest in the lives of people and they will be conquerors. They will be victors, will be victors in any today yes, in jesus name we pray amen and amen can you pray for the people Melissa? yes i just want to pray for the people who are affected yeah. by the virus Lord, we Jesus, we come and mark and seal everybody off with the blood of Jesus, Lord, mm. in the mighty name of Jesus, and death will pass us in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that that the power of the cross, the power of the action, yes, the body that Shakara was broken, and your blood that was Shakara shed, Shakara will start manifesting like never before, that the revelation of Jesus Christ will start being revealed in people's hearts like never before, yes, in the mighty name Jesus, Lord, come and bless our families. Mm. Come and protect our families. I confess, I confess my, salvation. my salvation and in my heart, in my heart I, believe I believe in righteousness, in righteousness. Today, today I am a new creation, I'm a new creation. All, the all the old things have passed everything have became new I and accept the finished work, the finished work of, your cross. of your cross thank you thank for you dying for dying for my sins, for my sins. Thank, you. thank you today, today my life Never, will never be the same, be the 